When an athlete gets here, uh, they usually come down the stairs into the training room. We do a quick range of motion assessment, which we monitor through our Fusionetics platform. We concentrate on lower kinetic chain, such as the hip, the knee, and the ankle, ensuring that there is a sufficient range of motion to sustain the demands of the sport. And also, we use that assessment, the information we get from it, to target training for that individual athlete. Use the bar if you need to regain balance, don't put your foot down. This is called the Dellas Proprioceptive Device. It assesses an athlete's balance. And you're pretty solid here, so that's good. Time spent on that training will decrease lower kinetic chain injuries with the ankle, the knee, and the low back and hips. We can make informed decisions on exercise prescription and workload for the athlete, and hopefully uh, to maintain uh, optimal health throughout the, uh, the season. Something revolutionary has arrived in the world of football. Introducing My Kicks. Using only your smartphone, now you can learn, measure, and improve your knuckleballs, curl balls, dip balls, and sledgehammer shots, and see your improvement over time. It's really cool technology. It measures my kicks so I can see how I perform after each session. My Kicks uses advanced video feed analysis to turn any ball into a smart ball. It's taken 18 months of collaboration between world-leading computer vision researchers and experts to make my kicks a reality. I feel like I'm training like a pro, and I love that I can score around the virtual wall. For the first time, you can measure and improve your set-piece skills and get real-time feedback on your power, placement and trajectory. When I train, I hope I'm getting more accurate with my shooting, but I don't exactly know. This technology really helps me control the ball and hit the target every time. Challenge your mates to a shootout and see where you rank globally, locally and against the professionals. And share your best kicks with our stunning visual filters. I never thought I'd be able to see my kicks like this, but now with this app and technology, I can really show my friends I've got the better kick. Learn more about this revolutionary technology and sign up to get free early access at mykicks.io and become the first footballers in the world using MyKicks to perfect your game. Mention the number 755, and someone's going to say, Hank Aaron, career home runs. That's it. Here comes your first play. Roger Maris, 1961, did 61 homers. 511, career wins for Cy Young. So every play, there are numbers there that tell a story. And the stat cast part of it helps you see, you know, some cool numbers. How fast was that play? How hard was that throw? How long was that ball hit? I know it's cutting edge technology, but in terms of embracing statistics, it's always been a part of the game. We're just going next level now. My name is Greg Kane. I'm the director of baseball data for Major League Baseball. Statcast is a combination of radar technology and optical tracking technology that tracks everything for a given play in a given baseball game. The radar technology is very good at tracking the ball, and the optical tracking is very good at tracking the players in a very large space. The two systems kind of hand off to each other so that they can create a complete three-dimensional picture of what's happening for every play. Three, two, one, and we're up. The radar technology is based on technology that tracked missiles and space shuttles as they were launching to see if there was debris falling off. It tracks things that move very fast, very well, with high-level precision. It tracks the ball at about 40,000 hertz, or 40,000 frames a second. Then the optical tracking system tracks at 25 frames per second, but that's bumped up to actually 30 so that it can match what's on broadcast. Stay by Mo going to break. We have two cameras dedicated to the StackCast. Pan right slightly. Hold your shot. Yeah, maybe. We can do live metrics and then more in-depth kind of numbers. How about uh, his arm strength first? So if you have a home run, 
Within a, a minute or two, we can turn around the exit velocity, the distance. Matt here is our operator tonight. He's able to feed a replay to our tape machine. Exit velocity, right of second, tornado. Ball trail, yes, no? Yes. Copy. We're able to capture that and marry it with other beauty looks of the home run. You also see the corresponding graphic with how far the ball was hit, what speed the ball was hit, what angle the bat was positioned at when the ball was impacted. You're able to break down just what makes these guys so good on the baseball field. Just to see those numbers come up and be able to turn those around almost real time, it's pretty cool, you know? It's entertaining, but it's also become a key part to actually documenting the play. The data that we capture for each game is provided to the clubs the next morning after the game for competition purposes. They have access to the entire data set for all games. It will be a great way for the clubs to detect somebody coming off of injury if they're really back to where they were, if they need a day off. Trying to find the players that are value that are out in the market. People have said that this is the holy grail of Moneyball. I think we're going to see more and more discoveries, if you will, making decisions on who to sign in part based on the metrics. Well, the Houston Astros figured this out, and they signed a guy by the name of Colin McHugh. He had washed out with the Mets, was not a very good pitcher, but they saw that the spin rate on his curveball was off the charts, and they realized that was a weapon that he wasn't using nearly enough. So based off the spin rate of the curveball, they signed this guy. He's been a great pitcher for them. And he got him on strikes. It's going to be neat to see how those elements forecast who's just not being talked about yet. It's very similar in a statistical approach, but this provides something they didn't have before, true quantitative measurement of skills. There's always room in baseball for mythology. It's one of the reasons we love the game. We're not trying to get rid of mythology, but what we can do now is compare players of completely different eras. Legends of the past were legends because we just anecdotally said this guy was really good. And now with this new technology, we'll be able to, in 100 years, compare somebody in the future to David Ortiz. We can go back and pull out new measurements of things that we just hadn't thought of before, things that we haven't had time to build yet. This is a whole new place to go with numbers. We're just really scratching the surface right now. As more data comes in, we'll have better context to explain what these numbers mean and compare player to player and era to era. Did Bob Feller throw faster than Jacob DeGrom? Who knows? It's a good argument, but now we can define that. Giancarlo Stanton hits the ball harder than anybody else in baseball. It's crazy. He's such an outlier. 20, 30 years from now, when there's the next Giancarlo Stanton, we'll actually be able to compare if he hits the ball as hard as Giancarlo Stanton. That's pretty cool. Basically, every week, you kind of learn something. You know, for television purposes, it just started this year. It's really helped just bring you a little more inside. It'll make the in-game experience much more engaging. You'll be able to understand more context about what these players are doing and really see the skills that they have. The fans will see almost instantaneously whether or not that last play is something that people haven't seen before. I think it adds to the enjoyment of the game. We all can recognize a good play when we see one, but now StatCast can tell us in numerical terms what made that a great play. I mean, it's like going down the rabbit hole in terms of numbers. All right, guys, good. good. All right, see you down here.
Dartfish Express is an app for video analysis, which does three things simply and well. First, use it to give convenient video feedback. Then, to make sure what has been learned sticks, video enriched with your observations can be uploaded to our Dartfish TV video analysis sharing website. And finally, those who are watching your videos online can continue to watch them offline by downloading them straight to their own Dartfish Express, where they can continue to use all the features of the app to get the most from the video and your analysis. Dartfish Express records video optimised for smooth slow motion replay, or you can import video created by other apps, or even uploaded from your computer or camcorder. Fast moving sports action is going to be easier to follow in slow motion, but for the best control, use the jog wheel, nudge it for frame by frame control, or fling it to fast seat. Add drawings to aid observation. Communication. Or make measurements. Or compare two videos side by side. And a really nice feature, bookmarks and photographs those particularly important moments in the video. We call this feature still shots. And once added, you can quickly move between them by swiping across the video. The control you get is what makes Dartfish Express great for instant feedback. But adding those still shots was also the first step in enriching that video with your expert viewpoint so that its value goes way beyond the face-to-face -face coaching time. Take a still shot and add a voice note to describe that bit of the action. Drawings and text can be used to really enhance the understanding. Feel free to draw away. These drawings won't show when the video plays, only when the still shot is displayed or when exported as an image file. Finally, I'll complete the still shot by adding a label from my custom glossary of up to 100 recently used terms. Now share this analysis using Dartfish TV. Any user of Dartfish software and apps can upload to their own free Dartfish TV cloud. And if your organisation owns a Dartfish TV channel, your Dartfish Express can contribute to that too. Your audience will benefit from the information added to still shots. And by selecting the presentation mode, which can be also found in Express incidentally, Video playback will pause to show the still shot, play voice notes and display text notes. Now they're off to practice what they've learned. Perhaps printing the still shot report will offer some useful reminders. But if their smartphone is travelling with them, by clicking download, they'll discover the third role of Express. To take Dartfish TV analysis offline and offer the same control over video which was so valuable when they received face-to-face -face feedback in the first place.